the last three days, just like Tyson Dog trying to kill Jackson Dog, I have literally done my best, everything in my power, to kill every single one of you. I'm literally trying to kill you. Really? Because somebody died. Basic training. You think it's only for military members? Well, it's not, because there's a lot of entrepreneur businessmen that are giving their own version of military basic training and SEAL training to a bunch of, well, soon-to-be entrepreneurs, and they've blown up on the internet. Now, originally, some of these videos that you're going to see went viral back in September and October, and YouTube talked about it, and everybody was weirded out by it, and rightfully so, and I didn't do anything about it. I wanted to wait. I wanted to see how things would go later on after all of these man camps, these fake basic trainings for entrepreneurs. I wanted to see how they dealt with the pressure, what they did. Did they cave? Were they stronger because of it? Was it actually as bad as all the videos that I saw on YouTube made it out to be? Well, I've done my due diligence. I've taken copious amounts of notes. I've looked up dozens and dozens of social media accounts and these very strange multi-level marketing-esque websites that these fitness slash entrepreneur gurus run. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these websites and social media posts and clips that you see where it's jack dudes with beards and tattoos. Nothing wrong with any of those three things. Telling men that they need to be men. They need to be responsible, accountable, physically fit. They need to provide for their families. A big thing is being a provider, which is good. All of these things are good. But how you get there is why we're here today. Now, I'm sure you already see the way that I'm acting right now. And you'll say, well, you're, you've pretty much got your mind made up. And well, I've already looked over some things. So yeah, but let me tell you why everybody, in my opinion, finds these things to be so cringe, especially veterans and military members who have served. Now, before we dive into these fake veteran experiences, let me talk to the real veterans for a second. I'm currently working with the SOAA, the Special Operations Association of America, to inform veterans about their options and how they may change when it comes to pushing forward a VA claim. Specifically, I'm gonna bring up two acts, the Guard Act and the PLUS Act. The VA and non-for-profits have been helping veterans with VA claims for a while, but the VA has been backlogged with literally hundreds of thousands of claims. So, veterans have been using for-profit businesses. Unfortunately, there's some bad actors in this space that have been ripping veterans off. Some people have been calling them loan sharks. Now, the Guard Act says, instead of punishing those turds, we're gonna remove that entire option entirely, only allowing the VA and non-for-profits. Myself and the SOAA don't think that limiting veterans' choices are a good thing, which is why myself and the SOAA support the PLUS Act. Yeah, we need to stop those bad guys from taking advantage of veterans, but we still need to allow veterans a choice. The PLUS Act allows you to choose between the VA, non-for-profits, and civilian side, but those civilian businesses have to be accredited, so we can tell the difference between a loan shark and a valid company that's been approved by the United States government to take care of you. If you want more information on the Guard Act and the PLUS Act, I beg you to check out the SOAA website. I've been there, they have some great information, and there's a fantastic not-for-profit that I personally support. Now let's get back to this dumbness. The title veteran means something. That's why people do stolen valor. They wanna get something out of it. They wanna be a part of this club. It's not a club, it's a brotherhood that you have to earn your way into. And not only do you earn your way into it with your sweat and blood, but you're also instilled with the army values. Basically a series of ideals that help you become a better person a more unified member of a team. And us military members have earned them via basic training for all your different military branches. And even within that, each branch has its own job. And sometimes those jobs amp it up even more. You wonder why Army Rangers are such big badasses? Well, they go through a second and third iteration of basic training before they even get to their units where they're then told, just because you passed a school doesn't mean that you're good at this job yet. You don't have any experience. So shut up and get ready for your next iteration of learning things the hard way. 
Now, civilians want that. And I can't blame you civilians for wanting to be a part of that. They see the Jockos out there. They see Tim Kennedy, even Sean Ryan. And they want to tap into what those guys know. They want to tap into what makes them tick so then they can grow and be like that. Emulate the positives that they show. But unfortunately, not everyone in the military influencer sphere is as straight up as Jocko. Some veteran influencers or entrepreneurs use that veteran status in order to take advantage of people. Or businesses are built up with the guise of run by veterans, owned by veterans, assisted with veterans, in order to tap into that need, that want to be better, that seeing an idolization of Jocko and Tim Kennedy and Sean Ryan and take money out of your pocket by giving you promises of a better life and positive growth and a network of entrepreneurs that can assist you in more entrepreneuring you're going to hear entrepreneurs so much during this freaking video you're going to want to off yourself i'm going to show you how some people have taken military service and turned it into a grift let's get started empowered brotherhood men of war crucible wake up warrior mdk murder death kill murder death kill murder death kill the modern day night project now, there are numerous, numerous organizations that claim to get you in the best shape of being a man and to have some weird guy guru tell you what you need to do and scream at you and hold you and cry with you. And honestly, it's very culty. Some of them are extremely culty. Some of them are super bro and some of them are super culty. There is a video of a guy trying to carry a heavy object and physically being exhausted to where he falls over. What's the truth about you? I'm not weak. What else? I'm strong. What else? I'm not a failure. Not necessary. Unless you want to brainwash somebody into thinking that you're the shit and they need to follow you. That necessary. Maybe I'll do that basic training. Nobody would ever double guess my instruction then. Although getting that close to face to face to a trainee would just be disgusting because I'd have to smell them. It's the modern day night project, which that actually has a good ring to it. You want to be a knight. Screw being a Spartan. Those guys used to diddle kids all the time. When Nobody wants that. I'd rather be a knight. Somebody that has honor and integrity and looks out for those that are below him. So let's meet the people that started the MDK project. Murder, death, kill. I mean the modern knight project. Pedros Kulian, founder of the Global Fitness Franchise. It sounds like Globo Gym. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. The Bedros Koulian Show teaching entrepreneurs how to find, how to build empires and create legacies and best-selling author of Man Up, how to cut the bullshit and kick ass in business and in life. All right, let's say that these are the biggest things that he's done his entire career. Founded a global fitness franchise. Okay, you're a millionaire. Sweet. Let's go look at a show. The Bedros Koulian Show. Awesome. He's got 680,000 followers. That is substantial. Let's say that a good number to reach is 20% of your audience is like really good, right? If you can get 20% of your entire subscribers to watch every video, that's pretty darn good. And we'll say 20% is 220,000. That's good. 206 episodes. And so if you're a guy, 71,000 views, 147,000 views. Okay. 10 months ago, you're doing okay. Wow. This one crushed it. Seven things men do to, to ruin their lives. Clickbait. Okay, cool. Clickbait. Top 14 traits to high performance. Average. Very good. Very good. Pretty good. Actually, his, his YouTube channel seems to be doing all right. His numbers are pretty darn good. No. People watch the show. That's not bad. They were watching it a lot more a couple months ago. Steve Eckert, U.S. Marine, co-founder of LTD. An immersive experience to turn business and their employees into high performance profit generating teams. Steve will be the facilitator of suffering. Sure you will, Steven. Nick K, Modern Day Night Project instructor, best-selling author, co-founder of Johnny Slicks, The Agogi, and Always Forward Podcast. William Branham, Modern Day Night Instructor, founder of Naked Warrior Recovery, the Navy SEAL Mindset Podcast. Highly decorated SEAL, 26 years of service, his expertise in leadership and mindset has been sought after for organizations. And Chris Weishman, I've, I've never seen him in a video. I don't see him talk about this. Probably the only person on here that I have no idea who he is, even though he's a part of the project. Who get to stand shoulder to shoulder with world champion athletes? I haven't seen a single one on here. They haven't promoted any world champion athletes on here. I don't know what world champion means. What, kickboxing? Special operations vets. Well, 
There's a lot of people on his team that didn't deploy. Yeah, they may be veterans of special operations and been in special operations teams. They're not veterans of a foreign war. World-class thought leaders. This is a made-up word. A thought leader isn't a thing. A thought leader is absolute made-up gibberish. It's such a made-up nonsense thing that whatever positive affirmations you get from thought leaders, oh, that's exactly what they want you to think. It means nothing. Show me a thought leader. I'll show you a cult leader. And eight and nine figure generating entrepreneurs. Nine figures means $100 million. And it says entrepreneurs. So if you make 10 million, okay. This guy's got a gym that goes all around the world. So probably his business, business, could be worth $100 million. How many other people? How many other people besides the guys that started this are the nine and eight figure entrepreneurs that are going to be you're going to be shoulder to shoulder with. The project is $18,000. I am about to show you what $18,000 will get you from the Modern Day Night Project and the Agogu and Barbados or whatever his name is. Barbados Slim. And Nick K and the bald Marine that never deployed. I mean, Steve. And I love how they sell it. It's a 75 hour experience, but also 12 month in-depth coaching and mentorship program. You get one call a month in like a Zoom call. How in-depth is that? Whatever, my favorite part of this, but the cost of not experiencing the project and mastermind of not becoming the leader, husband and father you're meant to be is much more expensive in the long term. You know what's cheaper than this? Joining a gym. And I'm not saying, hey, go join a random gym where you lift weights and do nothing. I mean like join a gym program. Then at least you can change your fat flubby self into something else. You can do the discipline. You can run a marathon, be part of a running group, go on Facebook, go on Instagram. RWB, Team Red, White, and Blue is a running program that brings veterans and military people together. And guess what? If you go and talk to Jerry and Steve, who's riding around in a Porsche, you go, Steve, you know, I've been riding, I've been jogging next year for a little while in RWB for almost fucking free. What do you do for a living? You know, I'd really like to pick your brain one day. Let me take you out to lunch and do this thing. Join a CrossFit gym. They're not cheap. They're like, you know, $100 to $200 a month, but they give you an exact path to physical fitness and it's in a community atmosphere. You go to the same time, you meet the same people, you're there day after day after day after day, building a group and experience together. Shout out to my CrossFit gym, Harborside CrossFit in South Buffalo and in the South Towns. Amazing. You go there, everybody's friendly with you. It's a group community. They treat you like you're a part of the crew. And then y'all go out afterwards and you do your own little events. There's a running club in it. They go out and have drinks. Trivia nights where you have a couple drinks and have a good time. You can bring your kids, you can bring your dog. And it's a lot cheaper than this. And it's legitimate. Time to throw my headphones in and watch some of these dumb videos that are gonna piss me off. All you had to do was come up with a fucking plan and not lose it again. Because you're gonna do this all fucking night. Start pushing them out, keep going. I'm not tired yet. And where's the, where, oh, shut the fuck up. Where's the rest of your team? We just fucking bailed on them. No fucking plan. No fucking orders. No fucking communication. You have no fucking clue what's going on. Well, I spent eighteen thousand dollars on this. You know, there's a lot of people that quit this. Like, I think they have like a thirty percent pass rate, so like a seventy percent attrition rate. You, you give eighteen thousand dollars to them, and then you're like, I can't take this. This is fucking hard as shit. I'm out of here. And they go, Okay, thanks for the money. See ya. And then like, out of the twenty people, eight graduate this is a whole bunch of bullshit it's just it's just fucking bullshit yeah we got hosed down because we want to be navy seals but we're business bros fucking idiots if any of you get out of the water and ring the bell i'm gonna personally fucking whoop your ass on the sand no, so not. if you are already contemplating on ringing the bell step forward now ring the bell go sit in the fucking warm truck and let the other men do what men do. If this was class one, where there was no video to demonstrate what you would be experiencing, I would understand that some of you might show up looking like pumpkins and pears like you do. The second they take off, the next one hits the steps forward and hits the ground. Yeah. What does the one waiting do? Nothing. Holy fucking shit. Whoa. We found oh, our one. Put your fucking hands out. 
Lock your hand. You fucking figure it out before you show up. And then you come here and you kick it in the fucking dick. Yes, sir. Not the bullshit that you're doing right now. Beat. What are they even saying? There is nothing. Th they're not saying anything. Look at your feet. Look at your feet. You're shaped like a pear. I, if you were here and I wasn't there and we were back there yesterday, I'd kick your ass. The owner of this group is saying, if you ring that bell and quit, I'll kick your ass. No, you won't. No, you won't. You're not, you're not, you're not going to hit anybody, dude. You're not going to, you're not, you're not going to fight anybody. You're not going to kick anybody's ass. And you know what you're going to do? You know what would happen if that guy ended up taking a swing at somebody? Is all of his friends and all of his buddies that are there training you would jump in and beat the shit out of you. He wouldn't be able to do it one-on-one. -on -one. You're like, nah, dude, I'm not going to listen to you. I fucking quit. He's like, well, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, cool, sweet. You told me you're going to kick my ass? Boom. Knock him in the mouth. And then watch all of his friends jump on him because he can't handle a fight for himself. Oh, no. That guy was trying really hard, and, and then he fell. Oh, God. This, this makes absolutely no sense. Him yelling, kick what in the dick? What you're doing is bullshit. He's, he's an idiot. This is an entire group of people that wanted to be drill sergeants or miss the military. And what they do is they try to take that small little memory that they've got back in their little tiny brains and they go, this is what it was like, right? This is what it was like back then and that made us great. No, man, there's a lot more than yelling and screaming and making them dig shit in the dirt and pick up a hammer and walk around. There's a lot more than that to become an instructor, a trainer of troops, a Marine Corps drill instructor, a Navy SEAL BUDS instructor, a drill sergeant. There's nothing wrong with being miserable and learning for the misery. There is something wrong with having a fucking chode who wishes he could have been with his special operations boys in BUDS training, yelling and screaming at you as if he knows some sort of secret in military training that he never went through that he can pass on to you and somehow you can pass. Team got warmed up. Let's see. We're just getting fucking started. I didn't train hard enough. I don't belong here. I didn't train hard enough. I don't. And you know it's training. fucking true. That hair tells the whole fucking story. That's all I need to know is that fucking hair. What'd you learn from his hair, dude? What'd you learn from his hair, you bald fuck? You skinny, bald, marathon running fuck. What'd you learn from his hair? This was that guy, like a 23 year old kid. He's got a good head of hair, and you're jealous and you're sad, and you're trying to make it seem like, oh, you've got long hair. It's uncut and it's not the way that I like it, so therefore you're trash. This isn't the military, man. You've got entrepreneurs. Like, they have long hair, they've got short hair. The fuck does his hair have to do with him? Just, it's it's stupid, wannabe basic training drill instructors or drill sergeants, but they, they don't they don't know why we say the things that we say. They just they just saw it in a video or they dealt with it once and they're like, oh, that was really good. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just insult people and just scream fuck at them. And then that'll make them go faster. If you think that's what basic training is, or what a drill instructor, drill sergeant, buds instructor is, you're brain dead. You're absolutely brain dead. Steve Eckert, jizz. Look at that fucking puckered face. You know what? You could tell that that guy with long hair was a, was a piece of shit, right? I don't know what you could tell from that guy's long hair, that he was sad, or that he was a little bit of a hippie. Whatever you got out of that, sure, you got out of that. This photo tells me everything I need to know about you, you uptight cunt. You are a jizz. You run every morning and you do push-ups so that your wife won't leave you because you mentally know you're not good enough for her because you're so retarded. Why are you pouting? Why are, your why are your lips pushed up? You ready to fucking kiss this douchebag's ass some more to get more free money for cashing in on the term veteran? If I'm not mistaken, this guy got out in like 94 or he did a six-year enlistment with the Marines in 94 and got out in 2000. I forget which. And then he never re-upped after 9-11. And now he's playing super hardcore soldier boy. Bro, I have no respect for you. You could have been a big badass soldier after 2001, but you didn't. You chose not to. You sat on your ass and now you're having FOMO, fear of missing out with your brothers who actually did shit overseas. Rightfully so, because you're a coward. And now you're screaming at children and men. You are a piece of shit. I do not like you. I hope that you learn from this experience and you grow and become better. But based on that stance and the fucking look like you've got some dick going right up your ass right now and you're wondering whether or not you say thank you, sir, to your owner, I'm guessing that you will get nothing. 
you'll learn nothing. You will learn nothing. You'll just continue to be a cock. And if you think I'm being hard on him, just wait. Just wait. By the way, no better. Absolutely no better. You're a Marine Raider that deployed. Awesome. Hats off to you. But just totally grifting on the veteran status. Speaking of grifting on the veteran status, guy who can't think with words comes up. Bro, you must have been a, a hell of a pipe hitter and a great Navy SEAL. But this group ain't for you, and you trying to buy into this program is making you look stupid. Please run away. Please save yourself. You have time. Don't get caught up in this any more than you have to. Charlie Ray and I have had combat operations that have lasted longer than 75 hours. You understand? Oh, wait a second. I thought Ray Cash didn't deploy. I thought Ray Cash didn't go in combat at all. I mean, he did. This guy did. But I thought Ray never deployed. Fun. This is for growth. This ain't gonna kill you. Instructor Steve might kill you. Nobody's shooting at you. There's no fucking enemy. You know who the enemy is here? You! You're the fucking enemy! I'll tell you why that's not true. I'll tell you why what he's saying is complete bullshit and why he's the bad guy. Because he's the bad guy that's giving them stupid punishments. And I know they're gonna say, hey, these punishments are... They did small things wrong. And now we're trying to break them of those small bad habits. And so they're the enemy. No, 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 no. You've planned on beating the living shit out of these guys for 72 hours. You're waiting and looking for moments for them to fuck up, for then you to mess them up with physical fitness and crawling through mud and all the other bullshit, right? They're not messing up enough to deserve what you're giving to them. You've made it a premeditated thought that we have to find something in order to get them to the next level of suffering and do all the things we wanna do. You've made videos of people going through Railroad tracks and throwing sand in their ass cracks and doing all this stuff. You're the enemy, my guy. This is why this is bullshit. This is why this is garbage. They're not the enemy. You are. You came in that day piss hot, ready to fuck them up for nothing. You would make up reasons to fuck them over and that's it. You're the enemy. You're not building anybody. You're just a piece of shit in a power complex. And guess what? That's coming from a drill sergeant, man. We're supposed to get off on that shit. We're supposed to say, oh, you did something wrong. Let me fix it. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. With a sense of purpose to get them to the next level of being a soldier, to accomplishing a task. And then what we get off on isn't the sadism of getting them dirty. What we get off on is making a fucking shit hot troop. Somebody that we can rely on. Somebody that the rest of the group can rely on. A great team member, a brother in arms. You get off on screaming at people. Real drill instructors and drill sergeants get off on creating the next class, the next generation of warriors. The last three days, just like Tyson Dog trying to kill Jackson Dog, I have literally done my best, everything in my fucking power to kill every single one of you. And the ones that don't deserve to be here are no longer here. And I'll tell you this, you can make it through me and you can survive what I'm fucking bringing, trying to literally trying to fucking kill you. There's not much in this fucking world. I'm literally trying to fucking kill you. Really? Did you know that somebody passed away during this training? I'm surprised that this video is still up with him saying that I'm literally trying to fucking kill you to people that are going through the thing. Because somebody died. Somebody had, I think it was, if I read it correctly, it was heart failure. There is a suit going on currently against MDK and some of its instructors and its creators because a man who was in physically good shape, he, he died. He died. Um because he was trying to kill him, right? I've literally done my best to kill every single one of you. That's what he just said. He's trying to kill everybody. Why wouldn't I think that he's trying to kill everybody else? I've got some bald man Marine from fucking 1994 that never deployed that's telling me about sacrifice and how to be better. Go fuck yourself, you jizz. I wonder which one of these guys killed that poor dude. Unintentionally, I'm sure. By the way, do they even know what rhabdo is? With rhabdomyolysis, it's a condition that can happen for several reasons, including if you exercise too hard, especially in the heat. It's extremely dangerous because the rhabdomyolysis insult often is unrecoverable. Do you know the amount of classes and instruction I have to go through before I become a drill sergeant? in order to train people. It's not just throwing tables and looking cool and screaming. I have to be aware of their physical ailments and understand that, hey, here's a couple different things like rhabdo that I need to look out for. Sunstroke, heat stroke, over exhaustion, over exertion. I need to be aware that these guys need to train and they have to be healthy enough for me to train them. 
How many people got kicked out because one of these stupid fucks broke them? Yup, they hate your $18,000 is gone. You can't continue. You can't graduate. You can't use all the cool dudettes that we did uh, because you got fucking broke. This is fucking awesome. This is fucking awesome. Just hang out there and enjoy it. Enjoy the Southern California weather. I told your family I'm going to sunny Southern California. Look what happened. The gods have blessed us. Just being wet and in windy conditions can give you frostbite and hypothermia, right? It could be 50 degrees out, but if you're shirtless and wet in the rain, you can get it. Now, I'm sure, rolling my eyes, I'm sure that they're aware of that and that they wouldn't want that to happen. Back now, everyone that put on his fucking back. Put him back on his back. Put them on his back. Get back to where the fuck you were doing. You're gonna see this guy again. Dude, this is when they just start talking absolute nonsense in the background. Hope is not a course of action. Blah, 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 blah. Your decisions, your actions. That guy that stood up was like, yo, stop stop you, you, that he's like he's fucked man he's fucking broken you gotta leave him alone now dipshit over here is yelling at him isn't that the point man aren't you trying to make a man that stands up and like helps his fellow brother out and then when you're like when he's like nah dude this guy's fucking broken give me the chains give it to somebody else like you gotta stop picking on this guy he's fucked mentally he can he's he's gonna stay here but physically he's fucking he's beat up no 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 fuck you man i know what i'm doing everybody's wrong it's 72 hours of beating the ever-living shit out of them. You don't think that some of them can't take it? You don't think that even the ones that trained didn't train in the exact bullshit that you're gonna give them? Oh, but don't worry, you've thought this through. I'm sure you've got doctors and medical personnel that advised you on this, right? I mean, for 18 fucking thousand dollars a person, I would assume that you brought some people in to help you out with that. Here we go, this is the one I wanna look for. Our, our friend, chubby white guy with beard, uh, once again, stands up for himself and the group, which is which is the point of this shit, isn't it? There is no point in this. Heaven help me. There is no point in this. But chubby beard guy, he stands up to bald piece of shit, never deployed Marine. Stupid. Are you that stupid? Here's, here's, here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Fucking bitch. Oh, get in the tub. Get in the tub. Every one of you. So, hey, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Every one of you get in the tub. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. Shut up. There is no respect. Get in the tub. You are going home. I know you're not going to sit down. You're not going in the fucking water. They're all going in the water. They're all going in the water. You're fucking done. You're fucking done. This is the perfect video to show you how much of a piece of shit this guy is and how I don't understand how anybody would want to deal with this. This is a group. Let's say that this group is being a little rough, right? They're not following all the rules. I mean, that guy didn't put the chains on the other guys back before, uh-oh. But, but, but this is supposed to be like a man thing, right? We're supposed to learn to fight for each other and unite. So when some dipshit decides to take your stuff and just throw it in the water, are you gonna let him? No, no, I'm gonna stand up for myself. I'm gonna grab my bag, I'm gonna grab all my buddy's bags. Hell no, man, you can't take our shit and get it wet. If, no, fuck no. And then what? He starts like, oh, fuck you. You're a fucking bitch. You're a bitch. What are you? They can't hit you. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. Shut up. There is no respect. There is no respect. See? He said it perfectly. There is no respect. He's trying to fucking kill you. Fuck this guy. He loses his shit. He has no self-control. He doesn't know what it is to lead. He left his friends when they deployed. He is not a leader. He's not somebody to look up to. He's just some fucking chump veteran that decided to start screaming at people with his friends because his friends were like, hey, I think we can get fucking paid for this. What do you want to do, Jeremy or Steve? What do your fucking bald ass shitty name is? Look at it. The entire group is like, sir, like you're freaking out. Like, what do you like? We're here to learn and do shit and push ourselves. But like, you're just being an asshole. Like that's, that's not a part of learning. What you do when you learn how to deal with assholes is you stand up to them. And he can't take it. His fragile ego is so broken that he just completely freaks out. Dude, I, he, he just needs to get in a street fight and just get his bell rung and just learn that he's not as big and as tough as he is. He's a peacock. 
All he does is fluff his fucking feathers and flex his muscles and scream really loud. And then everybody goes, oh, look how big and strong. Scary. He's a chump. He's a bitch. He wears two different colored shoes. Probably because one has to be right and one has to be left. He's a marine. He messes him up all the time. And then he's all duck-footed. Or that's like his style thing. Hey, man, I got two pairs of shoes. One's gray and one's red. I'm going to swap them up and look cool. Right? Right? Yeah, bro. Real cool. What a chode. What an absolute joke. What a disrespectful little baby back bitch. December 9th, 2022. There's Ray Cash. Ray Cash is, uh, he used to be a big part of this. He's, was a, a Navy SEAL. Big and big-ish. In like the same kind of bro entrepreneur, Jocko Willink, I want to talk to you, Spirit. By the way, whenever I talk about Jocko Willink, Jocko Willink's the shit. Jocko Willink has been there. He's done that. He was a Mustang, means he was an enlistment that became an officer in the Navy SEALs, led, led men overseas, was involved in combat operations. He's a fucking gem. Started a business, promoted himself, doesn't have to do any of this. I scream at people and belittle them and call them bastards and make them go into the fucking cold water bathtubs because he's mad. Jocko Wink Willink teaches extreme ownership. You own yourself. He talks to you. You can then ask him questions about how to have this driven mindset because he is special. Jocko Willink is a special guy. I still wouldn't pay $18,000 to have Jocko Willink smoke the shit out of me for three days. Why are we ringing a bell that says Navy on it? These aren't the seals. You're stealing things from the lore, the essence of the branches. What makes us who we are, the special things and ceremonies, customs that we used in order to build the previous and now future generations of warfighter. And you're like, this is this is good for business. This is good for a, a total military grift. This is a grift. This is 100% proof that all they're trying to do is emulate basic training and buds and just scream at you for no reason to get you to quit. I need you to quit. I have to have you to quit. You should be building people up, but they don't know that. They don't, they don't know that. They don't know that there's a part of instruction where it's you not allowing them to quit because they're all stupid. Because they're also high on their own piss of being a veteran and having some guy that's fucking loaded probably tell them, hey dude, just use your veteran status and scream. Pathetic. Stealing the bell for quitting from butts. How cheap is that? How cheap have you made that? You don't have the balls to give feedback to another man, to look him in the fucking eyes and tell him the truth, to tell him to stop fucking up. You don't have the fucking nuts to do it. It's time of your fucking life, you nut the fuck up. Let someone do something you know is gonna have some major fucking consequences and none of you do fucking shit about it. Cause you're on the fucking nuts. So you know, to stand up to another man. Oh, I cut it off the wrong time. To stand up to another man and do the right thing. What do you think those fucking chubby dudes with the goatee was doing? You throwing all their bags in the water and screaming at them, call him a bitch and don't touch me. And he had to act like a five-year-old in the middle of a car ride to Saskatchewan. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you, bro. Do you see why this is stupid? Because they don't have a plan. They just scream and they want to scream and they want to treat you like shit because they're because they're pieces of shit, sadistic pieces of shit that don't have any self-control. And you'll, this is a theme throughout the entirety of all this nonsense. Hey, I need you to nut up and like tell some man that he can't do those things. Oh, guess what happens when somebody stands up to you and tells you, oh, uh, sir, we can't do these things. He yells at you and calls you a bitch and says that he doesn't respect you. Why would he respect you? You paid $18,000 for some idiot who doesn't know his ass from the hole in the ground to yell at you. Don't do this. Join a gym. Join a marathon. Pay for training. It's $18,000. Really what this is worth? It ain't. It ain't. To get on a Zoom call with some jizz head that just screamed at you for 30 fucking days? You fucking high? Do a P. Diddy. Get focused on one thing and then attack it. I'm talking about the marathon. Talk about the marathon, right? I mean, nobody can be P. Diddy. Let's, let's be real. You can, only barely P. P. Diddy can barely be P. Diddy. I'm not going to be ripping on every seal that's in here. Every guy that's in here that trained them. Because I guarantee you that there were a couple of guys that showed up and they were like, all right, this was kind of neat, but fucked up. I'm going to be one or two and then I'm going to leave. Because I just, I just get the heebie-jeebies. I feel like that's the case. This guy got a fucking tattoo. Bro, you paid $18,000 to 
and then however much money to get that tattoo. It's a great looking tattoo. I don't know what it means though. Bro, if you, if this guy shows up to a fucking bar and like military personnel look at that, they're going to be like, dude, are you trying to say you're a SEAL? Like, what's the deal with the tattoo? And they're like, oh no, I went to a business conference and uh, thought it was really great. And they did, they had some SEALs there and they trained us and they had a bell just like you guys. So I'm not you, but I'm close. I know what you went through. No, 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 you, no, you don't. And there's Ray Cash. You know. People all the time ask me, they're like, Cash, how do I get out of this hole, this rut that I'm in? And I tell them, it's as simple as this, motherfucker. If you can't climb out of the hole, you gotta fucking dig deeper. You gotta find a way, you gotta claw, you gotta scratch, you gotta dig. Because people tell me, Cash, the symbolism is I don't have a fucking shovel. You don't need a shovel. All you need is your hands and your mind and your heart. And if you fucking start realizing that, there's nothing you can't achieve. So this is what I'm gonna tell each and every one of you. Sometimes the only way to get out of the hole is to just fucking dig deeper. The best way to dig out of the hole is to dig and find a way. Bro, do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying about fucking nonsense? I got Kamala Harris talking in circles, shirtless lifting fucking weights over here, trying to be like tomorrow is the day after today. And it's the future. And because the future is tomorrow, we have to think about it as it being after today. That's what you just fucking said. How many people ask you that question, Ray? Ray? Ray, you're making me upset. Shut up! One more fucking word, you're gone. I'm not fucking around. Shut up, stop rolling your fucking eyes, stop asking for fucking electrolytes, and be a fucking man. I don't give a fuck what you do when you're home. You are not impressing me here with your little fucking machines and shit. You're good because you have all these fucking comforts. Shut the fuck up and be a team player and go fucking join your team. You say another fucking word, you're gone. So that's a weird thing about this, right? I mean, that's not the worst thing you can see. All right, guy got an ass chewing for fake basic training and rolling his eyes. Hey, if you roll your eyes at me and it's basic training, you're going to learn today, right? But we're going to watch a little bit more of what Ray does, all right? He's got all these fancy machines. This guy in the white shirt's got all these fancy machines that he relies on. Ray certainly wouldn't do that, would you, Ray? You wouldn't rely on some machines and try to be cool, would you? See, like, what the fuck? Why? Why are we doing this? You can't tell me it's not a knockoff of basic training or Bud's training. You can't tell me it's not a knockoff or wannabe of it when you've got the fucking bell. Oh, yeah, here's some weird shit. Is your clean slate this very moment? is the new beginning. This very moment, you get to live the life that you want that eulogy to read. You understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a very special moment because 99.99999% of the people that go into that body bag never can unzip and won't have the read. All right, so this, this video is a portion of the MDK project where you write your eulogy and then you zip yourself up in a body bag and then they put some sand on you and then they release you and it's supposed to be a ceremony of hey your old you is dead the new you is here you know, like baptism right you go under the water you're a sinner you come out of the water you're now a son of god you know christian and your sins are forgiven except this is a bunch of just roided out extra trt dudes like beating the shit out of you and then trying to make it something this is like teenage kids in drama club trying to be like, listen, man, you've got to do this thing. Otherwise, you're not in the group. But if you do it, you're in the group forever and your world changes. And then we're all going to get supercars together and we're going to buy that old building in the middle of town. and We're going to turn it into a trampoline uh, like mansion, man, a trampoline mansion. That's what this is. There's no real meaning behind this. It's people grasping at straws, trying to find a meaning so then you can feel like you just accomplished something after getting the shit beaten out of you for three days. It's garbage. This means nothing. This rings as hollow as that fake bell that they have trying to emulate Bud's training. The old you is dead. The new you is here, man. We're just going to put you in a body bag and bury you. 
I could just see these fucking six bros drinking Jaeger bombs around a table talking about like how tough they had it and how bigger and better they are than the other guy trying to one-up each other with stupid bullshit basic training stories about I was the drill sergeant's favorite <laughs> and they're like you know what would be fucking cool is if they like buried him in a body bag and then somebody goes oh yeah but then like they can come out and it's like they're new again like oh bro yeah that's fucking great man what cocaine fueled binge thought made you think that this was going to be brilliant oh they fucking deleted it they deleted another one that I was looking for. They've deleted so much shit after getting ripped on. I'm surprised that there was anything left. I literally have to go back and look at a whole bunch of other YouTuber shit because they took so much of their cringe down. And yet they're still here. Now, why does this make you cringe? Why does this make me cringe? I'll tell you why I think it makes us cringe. It makes us cringe like when we watch Kids with Stolen Valor. When you watch those weird compilations of people that are trying to be a part of the military, but their medals are all jacked up and their hair is fucked up and they're super overweight, or they've got medals from Vietnam and they were born in 2001. It's, it's like those fake soldier coming home TikToks that you see where there's some disheveled soldier in an old, old uniform. And it takes three minutes for them to go up to their loved one and say, I made it back home because they just follow them through a fucking park or some nonsense because they're trying to hit the three minute mark on Facebook and make money off the video. Thirdly, because of the yelling. The yelling isn't, there's like no purpose for the yelling. It's just there. They're just screaming, thinking that screaming is going to do something and screaming is the motivation. Drill sergeants, we listen to drill sergeants because they scream. No, they do scream, but that's not why you listen to them. That's not the only reason why. Because this is a bastardization of a real thing. That's why it's cringe. It's a cheap, disgusting knockoff of the real thing. Because it's false. Because it's fake. Because it's not real. And once again, I'm sure that they're going to say, oh, it's not supposed to be boot camp. It's not supposed to be military buds. It's not supposed to be SEAL training then why are you stealing everything from it? You got your own bell and stamped US Navy on it, just like they do in the SEALs to simulate somebody quitting. Log drills, doing sugar cookies, having the, the two quart canteens. It's all just a sad ripoff of the original. Oh, did you think that was the end? <laughs> of course not, because guess what? The flaming shit show that is the MDK project and unhinged instructor Steve. Well, they're making their rounds on the internet again for another five-year-old temper tantrum. Oh, what could it be? Just, you know, a grown man playing around with a knife, getting ever closer and closer to accidentally stabbing himself in the head. Look around, look at each other. Look to your left and your right. More than 60% will not be here fucking Friday. I guarantee it, and I'll make sure I'll make sure that you earn the right to be here every fucking second. Because I see in your fucking eyes that most of you don't fucking belong here. And I'll be dead and I'll take this fucking knife off my fucking waist and carve this fucking tattoo off my fucking hand before I let any of you fucking bitches show up here on Friday for the graduation. I see in your fucking eyes already. Your fucking souls are mine. So that's the guy that everybody's paying $18,000 to for a weekend of bullshit. Did you see how many people were in that class that he's yelling and screaming at and slamming with his fucking knife? That's 18 dummies. 18 dumb people that got taken advantage of. Broed out with tattoos and no brains. Anyway, the best way to support the channel is to get a shirt. Look at that. E4 Mafia. It's my favorite shirt. I'd be wearing it, but I had to hurry up and make this ending because dipshit decided to stab a table and nearly off himself in the optical area. I've got new patches. Oh, look at that, new patches. This old crack house, rock your crack house gear. And of course, the tried and true angry cops emblem logo. And the cheapest way to support the channel is just leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this dumbness and why you feel like it's ruining society. I feel like it's a cancer, but I'd love to hear why you think. All right, see you next time, weirdos.